I want to demonstrate my version of cardio. You don't have to get on a treadmill and run your heart and increase the heart rate in, in order to stay healthy. I look at cardio as developing the respiratory system. So I'm going to go through or demonstrate a few breathing exercises. Um, starting with one inhale through the nose, just so that you can take one breath in and exhale one breath out. Most people can do that. We start to progress this to two inhales and then two exhales. And the sniffs go in through the nose and you're sniffing like you can smell something. You're actually making a sound when you do that. And then the exhales come out through the nose. A lot of people may have problems breathing in through their nose and out through their nose. This does take some practice, but we are all designed to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. To add an exercise to this, to progress it a little bit more into a cardio workout, I'm gonna have Barbara bend forward and she's gonna keep her legs down. No one is, is exempt from this exercise. If this is a problem for the neck, then you would just keep your head down, but you can still add the breathing to it. And then I'm gonna have her pump her arms up and down. And just the pumping of the arms alone is enough to get the oxygen through the body. It gets the blood, the blood moving. And she's just breathing in the two inhales and the two exhales. You can progress this all the way up to five breaths. That would be the advanced version of the exercise. If you want to add more resistance and make the abdominals work just a little bit harder, you would lift one leg. I always start with the right leg, and it's only a few inches up off of the mat. And then you can switch and go to the left leg. And when you've gained enough strength in the lower abdominal area, then the both legs can be lifted off of the floor. And then you can hold it there and come all the way down. And that's my version of cardio.